What I want to do is first introduce you to Jim Waddell. Jim, come on up here, please. Uh, Jim is a retired civil engineer from the Walla Walla District of the Army Corps of Engineers with deep expertise in the Four Lower Snake River Dams and found that when the Army Corps threw up their 2002 environmental impact statement, they greatly underestimated the cost of maintenance. They, uh, they, they, they fudged in several different ways and came to the conclusion no need to bring down the dams. Jim has been tireless in alerting the public and working the essential political angles to get it done and has taught us all a lot that it can be done in a very short order with the political will. Simply from the elected delegation from the state of Washington, the governor, and the two senators. And Jim, I've only got about four minutes for you, but can you give them their marching orders? <laughs> Next hour, you have four minutes. I don't know. You got the background. Can you show that? Yes, I'm going to show the video. Okay, so you'll get a little bit more background um, in a minute. Um, I do want to point, you're going to see a video, and one of the people in there is a real celebrity, and she's here, and I want you to make sure that uh, just go ahead. <laughs> anyway, you know, we came really close to get these dams breached in the last couple months. Uh, we have managed to convince the people inside the White House and the senior executives in the Army Corps of Engineers in Washington, D.C. They have understood, they, they, they have recognized the policy, the scenario, policy scenario that I gave them to breach the dams is viable, which means we can do it quick. The problem is, like Howard says, we did not have the political will in the state of Washington. The governor simply refused to support a breach decision or breach action by the, by the Obama administration. Now, what that means for us is we have got to work triply hard as we've done the last year because we basically, the biologists, the salmon biologists are telling us we're out of time. If we don't get a breach, you know, we said last year and they were saying like, we, well, your chances are, you know, are more, are far more difficult this year, but still possible if we get a breach started this year. We can do this, but the only way to do it is through changing the political will. Now, I know just about everybody in this room, except maybe Holland, voted for somebody, a councilman, a legislator in the state legislature, a, a U.S. congressman or a U.S. senator or the governor. What we need to do is directly confront these people. That means go to their office, ask for a meeting, and talk about this. If you need information, it's on Damn Sense website. But it's real simple. Salmon are running out of time, and you know what Chinook salmon mean to the uh, southern residents. It's, their, it's a big chunk of their food source, and, and so we're going to save salmon and save whales. We've got to address these politicians in the next few, three to four months. So that's, that's the ask that uh, I ask of you folks. The handful of us cannot do this just by talking to these people. It's going to take people like you changing the political will. Thanks. Um, at the registration table, there is a half-page, double-sided, uh, little informational flyer on why the Snake River dams need to come down or we may lose the southern residents. I mean, it's, it's down to that. I mean, I, I could explain it, but it's all on that flyer. So, we need music. What's the music? <laughs> activism on the dams, and you'll see a little bit of her in here. But we need about 12 more of her, okay? And a whole bunch of people. So anyway, she's, she's my hero. Thank you.